not a lot other than, you know, I mean, you know, that there's people that, that um, like to make projections and things like that. But in my experience, uh, I mean, we, we've been unranked and won the league. Uh, we've been ranked 12th and went all the way to the national championship. Uh, and we've been ranked high and didn't finish as well. So, you know, it, it's, it's, I think you gotta, it's fun. I think it's more conversation creates conversation and buzz about uh, the upcoming season. Everybody's excited about, but in college football, you know, it, it, it's, it's all about where you are in November and December, uh, not, not where you are in July and, and August. First of all, you're excited to just play. I mean, you, in our world, you know, unlike baseball or basketball where you play every day or every other day, football, you know, I mean, you might have 15, 16, 17 days out of a year that you actually get to play the game that you spend all this time working, preparing, you know, training for. And uh, so it's always exciting to, to get that first game. And then you throw in the fact that, hey, you're playing in a kickoff classic uh, in, a, in a neutral site, you know, in, in a great venue uh, like Mercedes-Benz and – and uh and oh, by the way, you're playing the number one team in the nation. Uh, you better believe it. It uh, that, that adds a little spice to it for everybody, you know. Uh, so it's a lot of fun. And eyeballs, a lot of TV sets tuned in. Uh, you know, a lot of viewers. I mean, people love college football. Uh, you know, you can just. I mean, you know, you can you can just track college football in general and you can get some of the craziest matchups and people still will watch. You throw in uh, two teams that have won more national championships than anybody. I mean, we, we, we've won two national championships in the last, what, eight years, and, and they have as well. Um, you know, you, and then it's Clemson, Georgia, that are about, you know, 80 miles apart uh, with a lot of history, a lot of tradition, uh, you best believe people are going to tune in to watch that one. And you'll get a lot of people that will just want to tune in to, to see how this matchup is going to go. But um, it's great for college football. I mean, it's a, it's a great stage. Uh, it's a big-time matchup early on. Obviously, the team that can find a way to win the game, you create a lot of early momentum in your season. I think, I think it's how we've built our program. Um, you know, it's obviously – it's – it's it's a challenge. I mean, it's when you go and you play games like this. I mean, you put yourself, uh, you know, out there. But I think that's how you teach. I think that's how you you expose your your team to uh, what it takes to win at the highest level. That's and that's that's how we you know when we've, I mean, we've been to four national championships, six playoffs. Um, we, we've won this league seven out of the last nine years. We. We're the, we, the second most winningest team in the country the last 13 years, us in Alabama. And a big, I believe, a big part of that is how we've scheduled over the years. And so when we go and we played these games over the years because of what we practice against, but also how we've scheduled, you know, these guys have a clear vision of what it's supposed to look like and going to look like when you get into these type of you do if you're fortunate enough to get to that postseason deal. You know, it's not something you haven't seen before. Uh, these are bright lights. These are, are big-time fan bases. There's just tons of passion. And I think it's important for your fans to feel that and your – and your, uh, but more importantly, your team to feel that. I mean, you know, I don't think the number, preseason number one team in the country has lost since 1990 in an opener. So, uh, you know, it, it's big to win any game – uh, out of the gate against in a game like this, but you're talking about, you know, the number one team in the nation, a team that's lost two games in three years. Uh, so I think it would be obviously huge uh, for our players um, and, and a lot of wind in your sails early on, uh, certainly for our fans. They, you know, excited. And, and then it's Clemson, Georgia, and all the, all the rivalry stuff that goes with that. So it's a big deal, uh, no doubt about it. But, but I tell you what, uh, you know, we got App State the next week, and uh, you know, you, you win the game, you celebrate just like any other game. You celebrate it, you better move on quick uh, because you know you'll get exposed um, as you go through your schedule. Because every week has to be the biggest game of of the year. That just has to be a mindset. So, 
I think it's important. We all know that, hey, this is an opener and it's a it, it's it's huge. But, you know, they're not going to give us a national championship uh, trophy uh, at, if we win the game. And, and so it's a long season ahead. You know, you look at all the tradition and history that's gone, you know, from the, from the Peach Bowl and kickoff classics and obviously you, you, the SEC championship. I've been a part of – I was a part of the very first one there uh, when it was the Georgia Dome. Uh, and I think that's really, I think, you know, kind of put Atlanta on the map, if you will, from a, from a, a college football standpoint when you throw in the SEC championship there and then the Peach Bowl and – and uh, you know the history of, that's that's going on through that, and then you throw in this kickoff classic. Um, it's uh, it's a great city, uh, for sure. Um, it's a great sporting city. Absolutely, I think I think perspective. I think it adds perspective. You know, perspective is very important. I think in anything that you do, and and you want your work to be meaningful. You know, I mean, this is something we're passionate about, but. But it's also, uh, you know, that you're using this platform that we are all blessed with to play a game that you love uh, to to bless other people and to help other people. And, you know, there there will be a winner and a loser on the scoreboard that night um, on the field. But but I think uh, you, you don't ever lose when you help other people win. And I think that that, you know, when you when you have a kickoff for a cause like this, you know, you're using the game to help other people win, you know, and, and when, when I say win, I'm talking about, you know, winning life, 